Hey guys, welcome back to another over-explained I Am Kind of Each Day 2021 YouTube series. We're going to be taking a look again at Game 2, Party vs. Zest, Pillars of Gold PvP. If you do enjoy the content, please show me your support by subscribing to the YouTube channel, letting me know down in the comments below, and checking out my Twitch TV, Arcan SC2. And jumping right into a PvP series, these games are a little bit wonky. It won't really matter too much to talk about the specific build order, because other than the first few structures being placed, PvP can be a bit of a, a wild conundrum where there is some metagaming at hand and at the same time both players can be doing well their own variations of certain build orders. Mostly we'll probably see Twilight playing Stalker, most common version but we might see other things as well. We're going to see a low ground pylon for both players which could, this could favor one get expand into Nexus. Although both players know this, so sometimes the players will go and block with the pylon, leading to uh, two gate anyways. We'll see what happens here. See a pylon scout from Zest and a gateway scout from Parting, so Zest is probably going to be slightly faster. We're going to see gas is taken, probably a gas block over here. Let's take it. So Parting is blocking it from the probe temporarily. Let's get in here. Two guys in each gas geyser, two guys in each gas geyser. Why oh, he's got one guy in this gas geyser temporarily. He's going down for a cybernetic score, of course, after gateway completion. He's getting a zealot temporarily. He's he's getting the zealot temporarily because he's anticipating a pylon being dropped down to block the natural. And the zealot can take this out when this pylon does get dropped here. He may cancel this, sell it though. Let's see. Okay, he does, he, does, he does commit. He didn't want that zealot. And he, I think Zest knew, knows that because he saw this gateway producing. And he kind of just baited him out. He's like, okay, make the zealot, make the zealot, make the zealot. I'm going to fake getting a pile on here. I'm going to fake getting a pile on here. And then he just doesn't do it after he sees his, the zealot coming out. Pretty cute. Pretty cute move here. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Zest does get a zealot because there is uh, a pylon on the map from party. The difference here is that Zest doesn't lose 100 minerals for the pylon, and party does lose 100 minerals for the pylon. So, income advantage, or advantage right here, going for uh, Zest. However, with the cybernetics core block, uh, we'll see if how long he gets delayed. I think it's okay still for for Zest. I think this is still advantage Zest. Shield battery in the mineral line here for parting. All right, so let's take a look at how many seconds he loses from two thirty seven. For this cybernetic score, I still don't think it's worth it. Hmm. Okay, so it was a pretty healthy block, maybe about 15 seconds from 237 to 252. It was, it did uh, take less damage than I was expecting. Considering the probe, Zealot and Stalker were on it, so I keep forgetting how bad Probe does DPS is. So yes, uh, it was still worth it for Parting to do that pressure, or by dropping the uh, the pilot into Cybercore. He does end up getting a, a large sum of it back in terms of the cancel, so he only loses about 30, 37 minerals or something. So it was worth it. Adds the Nexus, adds the Gateway, Parting already going for the Nexus. He does 
have Wingate expand. He has a, uh, interestingly enough, Party really did offer that fast shield battery. I wonder if that hurts him here. Well, Party with the uncharacteristic supply block. That was very no bueno. Want to counsel here? The party. As a result, there's going to be an income favor for Zest. Turn 28 probes and 25 probes. For that supply block. Show battery here going down for Zest as well. Twilight Council going down for Zest as well. So pretty much a mirror match. With the exception of uh, more probes for Zest. Because of the supply block for burning. Both players are going to be getting blink I assume. Do you see a uh, forge down for Zest here? Do you see a bunch of hallucinating? So when you're playing PvP, getting the sentries are very imperative because you, you really want to keep tabs on your opponent. Um, I've lost to many lower level players because they were going to be doing some like two gate or two base all in or doing something that you know i take a third base you really need to be using your sentry energy to give you non-stop phoenix uh, hallucination scouts to really understand what you're up against which can kind of feel bad because you're like you're being very reactive on your opponent and sometimes it sucks to be reactive but against lower level protoss players you kind of have to be okay, nice little zealot scout Looking around. Forge from parting. Plus one weapon starting immediately. No Chrono Boost though, interestingly enough. Getting the Robo. No gases yet for either player at the natural. Is interesting. We are seeing kind of a late shield battery, and the reason why they're they're comfortable to take this late shield battery is because there's a, a ramp here that allows the Protoss player to use the force fields. But if this was not this map with a ramp, their shield battery would have gone down much sooner. Both players getting plus one and blink. The Robo of Harding going down a little bit later. Not too bad. We get you are seeing gas number three for both players. Around five minutes. Basically around the natural has reached mineral saturation. Looks like the uh, the workers are slightly ahead of for Zest, but only by a little small margin, by two. Again with the uh, hallucinated Phoenix Scout giving giving Zest and Parting all the information they need. We are seeing two more gateways up to four gates total. Take a look. Two more gateways up to four gates total for both players. A complete mirror match in terms of the build order here. We're taking a seat. We, the first difference here, we're seeing a third base down first for Zest around 534. Parting around 545. So parting is just slightly behind, I'd say. Just slightly. In this tab, they have the pretty much the same army compositions. Zest has the pack of adepts. Zest a little bit ahead of the upgrade war in terms of uh, weapons. If he starts plus two weapons or immediately, he'll have a, an advantage going into the match. Scouting around with the adepts for map control, pretty good. I like that he's kind of looking around for any proxy gateways or really anything. Observer over here, pretty good. Doing some vision. Pretty smart location for the observer. Catch any unsuspecting observers of the opponent. And he's gonna see 
enemy units in the middle of the map. It does get sniped though. So I do like being mobile with the uh, the stalker observer combo. Can kind of cash the opponent's observer off guard. But does he have enough stalkers here? It is kind of very. It is very close. Gotta be careful here. The, both players using the force wood that does pretty much nothing. Pretty cute. Both players have the exact same army compositions. Which means it's going to favor the defender. They're going to have the defensive warp ins capability. Uh, and he has a supercharged battery or even the regular charged battery. Um, so it does favor the defender slightly. Especially if Parting can get the snipe on this observer, uh, this warp prism here. Then there's going to be no warpins for the for zest. This is always dangerous because there's not much mobility here that can't be countered by the opponent. If zest tries to blink away because he doesn't have any warpin capability, Parting can keep up with him and then just overwhelm him with numbers. I do not think he's going to get this nexus, especially with the overcharge next right next to it. He's got to overcharge. He's got to heal this nexus. It's a bit of a mistake not to heal that. That's okay. Point is, he's not dead. Yeah, he probably just goes home. Yeah, at the end of the day, nothing really major happened with that altercation. They're both in the same spot, more or less. But the one thing is, uh, Zest does not have his plus two started yet. Bit of a mistake. You think he chrono boosted this and nothing happened here. Slight mistakes. Now Pari is gonna look to do some damage. He's gonna want to do the force from the ramp combo. This is gonna probably favor Zest here. One of the reasons why is because he does pull some probes, and he does have some Zealot frontline, and his Zealot, some mortals a little bit out of position. But because he pulled some probes, he did lose 12 probes there, which gives the worker advantage to parting. So at the end of the day, yes, the army, the battle was won by Zest. But he did sacrifice some probes for it. Got a couple of probe kills here as well. We kind of missed out. Take a quick look back. So some stalkers came in here and did some damage. And he just he moved three stalkers down there. Kind of cute. Well, first brought this. He made it uh, the best out of a bat situation with a miss blink. Thank you. Okay, we're caught back up. So, Parting has a slight lead. Again, nothing too major. Slightly for parting. Lose the uh, but here's the problem. This is what we talked about, losing that war prism. Now all of a sudden, Zess has defensive warping capability closer to his side of the map. But um Parting does not, so now he's gonna be forced to, to retreat. And the Blink Stalkers can keep up with this army, especially if this oh, if he doesn't have he doesn't have charge. Very close. If this charge was done, Zet Parting would be in a lot of trouble. Luckily, charge is not yet done, so big break caught by parting. That could have been lethal. Charge just now finishing up a little bit late, but we'll see. Still scary, as you can see by the supplies. 
Uh, Parting has the worker lead, but Zess has the army lead here. Fifteen zealots to zero. I kind of like Zest's army, to be honest. I think the fifteen zealots, the charge lots, are gonna be scary. Finally, parting warping in his own zealots. Better late than never. He warps in six. He's gonna need to use these shield batteries, and he does warp in a ton of shield batteries. Look at that. Two more shield batteries coming in here. He knows. He knows that. Uh, Zess is going to want to do a lot of damage. Maybe even in the game. Huge, huge charge lot warping. 21 charge lots warped in here. The world is getting shredded. Kind of getting funneled now, though. So at the end of the day, Parting loses some probes as well. He also lost his immortals. So if we have another warp in of charge lots, it can start to favor Zest. But I'm, I'm curious. Doesn't have a lot of the stalker count. Definitely favors Parting now. He can definitely blink on top. Probably pick out some of these immortals. GG. Wow, Parting takes the first two games. GG by Parting. Yeah. yeah the, the, the batteries ends up saving the game there. GG.